Okay, lately we've been talking about this travel hack known as skip lagging. It recently got a teenager banned from American Airlines. His father spoke about the incident. I think it's a certain warning that, hey, this is frowned upon. Um, if you do it again, there, there would be consequences, you know, financial penalties. But to put a, a minor in that situation was really the reason that, that we have concern. So skip lagging is where you buy a ticket to get from one point to another with your layover being where you really want to go. So this allows you to save a ton of money. So we'll go through some examples to explain it. And I believe that teenager, what was the punishment? They were banned for um, flying on American Airlines for three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is it? Does this do, are people really doing this? And does it really save you money? We're bringing in Millette Stambach. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and I guess you are a travel expert, or you a travel enthusiast, enthusiast. But I've you know seen this practice done. It's, it's a very popular like topic because again, everybody wants to get that cost saving moment right when they're traveling. Oh, there's even whole websites dedicated to it. Let's go through two specific examples just to lay it out for you what it looks like. So we'll start with our first example. If we're trying to get from say Philadelphia and we want to go to Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So if we take a look at that example um, in Skip Lagging 101, so this example is trying to get to Phoenix, but we'll instead try to buy a ticket that goes all the way through. Here it is. So the ticket would cost me $581, nearly 600 bucks. I'm like, I don't have $600 to do that one way. So instead, what am I doing in the second example? So you're basically booking a flight all the way to San Francisco because it's one of those major destination um, hubs, but you're getting off at Phoenix. And that flight, because it's such a popular frequented route, is like 40% less than the, the cost that you are going direct. But it is still a direct flight because you're going straight to Phoenix and then to San Francisco. Let's see again exactly how much money we save by doing that example, if we can put that back up, because it's quite significant, and I think you just need to see it what the purpose is. Mm -hmm. So when you see the first example, we're paying almost 600, it's almost half off. Exactly. You can see you're paying yeah. almost 350 for a savings of $233. Mm -hmm. and does the airline know? I mean, obviously, when you buy it, they don't know that you're doing this, but they can tell that you didn't make it to your final destination that you paid for. Yeah, definitely. And there are ramifications to that. Like, if they see you, you know, had missed it intentionally, they can send an agent to the terminal to try to track you down. And that did actually happen to one of my friends who actually used skip lagging when she had to buy this low cost ticket. So, I mean. And what did they do? So, what happened <laughs> when she got to her. You know, how, how did they find her? Well, basically, like, they were calling her name on the systems. Um, she could hear it when she was, like, leaving the terminal at that layover destination. They're like, Becca La Creta, your, your ticket is boarding, you know, and then she saw somebody trying to, like, follow her, and so she just stayed in the bathroom and just hoped, you know, for the best. But, like, she was trying to buy a last-minute ticket, which is why she went through that skip-lagging route. Because it can get really expensive. Exactly. Because here's a second example of how you can save money. Let's put up our, our next one just to show you how it can be done. <laughs> so this one's a Salt Lake City, mm -hmm. and you save a nonstop direct that is $419. But if you go to Seattle and make sure your layover is in Salt Lake, so Philadelphia to Salt Lake City to Seattle, it's $189. I know. It's crazy. And that's what's really attractive about these kind of, you know, travel hacks that people are, like, presenting on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what people focus on is that savings, and there's a thrill to that savings as well as, you know, being budget-friendly. What's your pocketbook? So there's even websites that are dedicated to doing exactly this. I think there's one of them that's called skiplagging.com. Here it is. And it's, it helps you to figure out how to do that. But you alluded to what one of the other major problems. If you do that on the way out, they could cancel your flight on the way back because yes. they are not going to be happy if it's round trip. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So the end around, not that I would advise any end arounds, <laughs> but is if you fly out on two different, so you fly out on one carrier it's... and you return on a different carrier. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to do this, which again, we're not espousing that because it's a very risky practice, but you're going to be buying direct flights. You're going to be buying, you know, first row tickets so that you can exit immediately. <laughs> like there are some people who skip lag and then all of a sudden they have to, like, they, they they are on a overpacked flight and so they have to check their baggage. Oh. Their check baggage is not going to that final destination. Mm -hmm. It's going to, you know, that, that layover destination, right? So don't bring any check baggage. Um, so those are the kind of things that people just don't like think about, the ramifications. Sometimes people like, inadvertently put in like a frequent flyer mi mileage status. So what happens when you miss that? You're going to be penalized if you're a frequent flyer. Because they can find you. Yeah. So since you're a travel enthusiast, because it sounds like a lot of work, hiding in bathrooms, <laughs> running off the plane, <laughs> exactly. like I don't know if I 
I can do it, but would you recommend? I mean, it is nice to save some money, but would you recommend it? I think if you're in really a bind, like my friend who did it was like she had a bereavement. Her right. you know, grandfather passed the next day wow. and, and she was a college student. Right. I wouldn't advise it because, again, there's just too many consequences to all of this. And let's mention the airlines, too. There's yeah. a list of airlines who also, they say this is banned and this is not something they endorse. So we want to make sure, and it's pretty much all the major airlines. Yeah, it's all the major airlines. Like, I mean, you don't need to do that with Spirit, but you don't want to get banned from American Airlines who, like, monopolizes the, the, the traffic routes. And so they could ban you for three years, and they say it's in their contracts when you're buying your tickets, mm -hmm. all that small print you don't write, uh, that you don't read. <laughs> <laughs> you check that box and it says don't do this. So that's the warning out there for everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're not condoning this at all, because I'm trying to get on the flight soon. So listen, <laughs> and we know that American is a big hub here in yeah, Philly on the East Coast. Exactly. So if anybody's working at the airport, we're not endorsing <laughs> it. I'm, I call it peace. Thank you so yes. much. It's we, fascinating, because you're yes. right. When folks say stuff on TikTok and they talk about it, everyone mm -hmm. wants to try it. Exactly. But you're giving us the details. <laughs> Thank you so much.